On this segment, we're going to show you how to glue up a uh, tabletop or whatever it happens to be, a panel. So we're going to show you edge-to-edge -edge gluing, uh, or edge-to-edge -edge lamination it's actually called. Uh, I'm going to start with four pieces, okay, they've all been milled, okay, I've kept them as thick as possible right now. We'll take them down and thin this once it's all glued together. So basically what we're trying to do is make a wider piece of material, okay, to build whatever uh, we happen to be building and we require wider solid material. So uh, a couple of things that we're going to go through here. Uh, first of all, like I said, I'm starting with four milled pieces. They might be different lengths. They're longer than what we need, okay, and that's okay because we're going to cut this down to the actual size after it's all glued together. So I'm going to take you through a few steps here. First off, just take your material. We have to look at each individual piece. First thing you want to do, you want to look at the end grain and determine if it's a smile or a frown. Okay, and that's very important, and mark it. So I'm going to use a felt pen just so you can see easy. So this one is a smile. The growth rings on the end grain are uh, in that fashion. They're cupping up, okay, as opposed to that. There's a frown. This one, this one, like that. This one, like that. And I'm just looking at the growth rings here. And this one is like so. So what we need to do is we have to have an alternating pattern. That's our first thing that we want to take care of. Okay, so right here, I have a frown. So I have a frown here, so let's flip that over. That's a smile. Okay, then there's a frown. So we flip it over, and here's another frown. We want to do that. Now the reason we want to alternate the grain uh, smile, frown, smile, frown, is so, if we put them all smiling, we would tend to have this piece of material, when we glue it, it'll cup up like that, okay? So, by alternating the, the grain, okay, we'll end up hopefully with quite a flat panel. So, once we've done that, done our smile, frown, smile, frown, then, you're going to mark on it, your carpenter's triangle. Now your carpenter's triangle should, don't have to worry about them being even on the end too much, okay? Because again, we're going to cut this to size. So we're going to put a carpenter's triangle, and what this carpenter triangle does, it touches each of the four pieces, and because these pieces will all start to look similar, then when we're going to glue them up, we don't do something like this, and then we mess up our grain pattern and all that kind of thing. Okay, so it prevents this from happening. So when we're putting things together, okay, we always get it together the same way. Next, after we have this established, then we want to mark in where we're going to, going to put our biscuits. So in this case, we'll go in about, I don't know, about five inches. So make a line, again, don't use felt pen. Okay, I'm just doing this just to make it easier to see on uh, camera. Okay, here, we have five inches. Okay, and you can see that I've put my mark so it, they're together on the, on the adjoining pieces. Okay, and they don't have to be dead accurate, but it has to span across the two pieces that are gonna be joined together with, with a biscuit. Okay, so once we've done that, now we know where our biscuits are going to go. If you're not sure what a biscuit is, this is a biscuit and this is going to be inserted into the wood. In theory, it's supposed to help on strength. I tend to use it more for alignment so that we don't get this happening. So if we cut the biscuit, so we don't get this happening, um, that uh, this piece would be higher than this one. Because then when we plane it down, it has to get thinner and thinner and thinner. Okay, so in this case, uh, we're looking pretty good here. So next thing you want to do, just hold it together with hand pressure and see if you have any gaps, okay? You, this should pretty much be seamless. You shouldn't see any gaps. If you do see gaps, take your piece back over to the jointer and mill the edge 
okay? Try it again. If it still doesn't come together, then mill this edge, okay? Until you have it so that it's gap free. All right, so there we go. That all looks good. Now, next thing we wanna do is we wanna cut our biscuits. So, we want to measure halfway into this piece. So this piece is an inch and a quarter. So half of that is seven eighths. No, sorry, it's not seven eighths. So we want to be marked there. Sorry, I'll do that in felt so you can see it. Just like so. Now we only have to do it on one. And that's, that's definitely the way we want to do it. We don't want to do it on two because we might get different measurements. So we just want to put that mark in the middle, okay? Halfway up, halfway down. Not a half inch, it all depends on your thickness of your material, okay? That's gonna allow us to set up the biscuit joiner. So when you're clamping this in place, clamp it so it hangs over the edge, just slightly, okay? Like so. almost ready to biscuit. We get the biscuit joiner, unwind the cord here. Try and always wrap the tools up nicely uh, so the cords aren't dangling and getting damaged all over the place. Okay, And now we're going to just show you how to set up the biscuit joiner. First of all, loosen this star knob off. Okay, This star knob right here, just loosen that. You don't have to loosen it a whole bunch, just a little bit. Then it allows the fence to travel up and down. Okay, try and show you that easier. So once that's loose, then that fence travels up and down. Now, if you look real closely, there's a little red indicator on the side there. That's the height where the blade comes out. Okay, and that's why we have to adjust the fence. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, so we're going to take the biscuit joiner. We're going to rest that fence uh, on your piece of material. Okay, then you're going to adjust over at this side so that your red indicator is even with your line. Once that is established, tighten that star knob up again. Okay, now we're set up nicely for cutting. Next thing, safety glasses. Plug this in. And we're ready to go. So now, you notice there's a red indicator right here. That's where the center of the blade is. Okay, left to right. So this is going to go on the line that we established earlier and we've already set to cut at that height. So this is how we do it. I'll do it off with some hands. I like to have my thumb at the front and that prevents this from happening or this from happening. Just helps to keep it flat. Turn your biscuit joiner on at the back trigger here. And Cut your biscuit slot and then come over here, do the same thing. Now we'll do that same thing on each of these pieces and that is half the biscuit slot that we need. And the other half is going to go in the other piece. Okay, we're just gonna do our last piece here. So it's clamped in place. Make sure it's overhanging by, I don't know, a centimeter or so is fine over the bench. The reason we do that is so that this base of the biscuit joiner doesn't run into the table. Might bump it up, uh, might stop it all together. Okay, so let's cut these last two. Okay. Hold it flat. 
flat. together so we have our triangle again. Now we're going to do a dry fit and this just assures that we've cut the biscuits in the right place and to the full depth. So I'll just spread everything out. Don't put glue on yet. Okay, we can still run into some problems. And once the glue is on, if you run into problems, then you're scraping glue and that kind of thing. Scraping it off while it's wet. Or it just makes for a mess. So there's our dry setup. One more, one more thing to just do, just to see how it is all going to come together. Just put some light F clamps on it, light duty F clamps, and just see how it's all coming together. Okay. Our triangle is in the right position. Everything's facing up. We don't have any marks on the underside. Okay. Our gaps look really good. So now we're ready to bring it over to the glue table and glue it all up.